anything, anyway. Look at that. Mike's Daily Podcast. FF episode 2010, 27, 10, and Mike Matthews here at Cafe Anyway. Mike's Daily Podcast. Somewhere in Podcastro Valley, the last place on earth. It's Mike Matthews. Hopefully you're full of mirth because it's a short week. You don't have to work that much. There's lot, like lots of uh, free time, hopefully. And cool people And don't lose your mind Because some people just get a little bit Well, when they're around family Mike's Daily Podcast That they try to avoid Johnny Carson saying We get together once a year Mike's And realize Daily Once a year is not Podcast Long enough Yeah What is the cost of Thanksgiving? Apparently it is rising Shoppers can expect to pay a pretty penny for their Thanksgiving meal this year. Last year, the average cost for a feast for 10 was 64 bucks, which that could be just like a feast for two, depending on where you go in the Bay Area, or a feast for one. Average price of Thanksgiving meal expected to slightly increase another 2% to 4% on top of that. Restaurants are expensive in the Bay Area. If you did, well, you know what? I'm finding restaurants are expensive every year, everywhere, and it's everywhere. In 2020, though, we paid about $43 for a feast for 10. Yes, back in COVID years. I don't know if we were actually getting together in Thanksgiving of 2020. As I recall, everything was shut down. I remember we were trying to, on my birthday, because it, it always falls around Thanksgiving, we headed over to Discovery Kingdom. Six Flags Discovery Kingdom in Vallejo And it was Just partially open You could go see the animals And that was cool And it was awesome There was like nobody there But no rides So we are up 50% In just a few years When it comes to paying for Thanksgiving and here's today's podcast picture For Thanksgiving food It's going to be another wonderful picture From my trip this past weekend We went up the coast. We basically took 101 from the Bay Area up Cutover just after Petaluma and headed west to the ocean there in Bodega Bay and then up a little bit to Jenner and then cut in along the Russian River. The late great Basil the Boxer never went to the Russian River. Nobody went to Bodega Bay. Several times we had good times there. And he would run around Actually they got all these laws In Bodega Bay You can't let your dog off leash So he was on leash I was a good dog owner But I'm sure he would have loved to just Tore up those sand dunes And run around And done the boxer thing Just running, running, running And jumping and barking The cost of a turkey Is expected to be Lower this year with an 8 to 10 pound 8 to 16 pound turkey At about $1.27 per pound I guess that's 22% 22% lower Than the same time last year in 2022 A 16 pound turkey Will run you Roughly 29 bucks Grocery stores tend to offer more discounts To get the shoppers in Like if you pay 50 bucks on other groceries You can get the turkey for like 10 bucks Or free Side dishes expected to be 4% more expensive In 2023 compared to last year Those wonderful side dishes Mashed potatoes That weird funky casserole with the green beans That thing with the yams And of course the stuffing Droughts and wildfires have had a big impact On the side dishes Like pie crusts Wildfires have had a problem uh, Have caused problems with Getting pie crusts, dinner rolls Milk and cranberries Mike is on it man Go where no man has gone before we love All it, these Mike. high interest rates Are causing people to do a little less Remodeling at home I know I could do a lot of remodeling At my house I've been waiting on it for well over a decade To do the remodeling So by now you would think I really know what I want done 
but I still don't. Homeowners who are thinking their remodeling plans following the boom, they're rethinking their remodeling plans following the boom during the pandemic. The total spending on home improvement and repairs is projected to drop a little over 7% over the next four years to about $452 billion. It'd be the first decline in more than a decade having to do with those higher interest rates. And less savings, higher interest rates, and the lack of housing activity in the resale market are among the reasons for a slowdown. The pandemic unleashed some home improvement demand. A lot of people were redoing their houses, remodeling between 20 and 20, 2020 and 2021. Remember, there was like a lack of lumber. The unique circumstances of the time made people rethink their relationship with their homes. Financial home improvements was easier during the pandemic with three rounds of stimulus checks. This is Mike's Podcast Picnic. Historically low interest rates made borrowing cheap. Home equity was soaring because the housing market took off. This will be difficult for Biden. He just turned 81 today. And people are going to look around at the MTV News. You hear it first. Trump being indicted, what, like four times is going to... It's it's the economy, stupid. It's the money. It's the paycheck. People look at that. Bottom line is now people are getting really cost sensitive. Overall, homeowners may have no choice. About 50% of the homeowners live in a home that was built... Before the 80s That's 50% of all American homeowners Live in a home that was built before the 80s That's true for me too Which means lots of kitchens Bathrooms and roofs The roof It will need upgrades All that came from Rob Black I produce his podcast He does a podcast on money And it's called The Rob Black Show I produce it The podcast part of it And he does a radio show On AM 1220 KDOW And he's on TV On Cron In the Bay Area In the morning time Fast food drive through visitors Rose 30% (laughs) While indoor dropping uh, Diner when people indoor dine, rather, that has dropped 40%. You know, there's a real scary holiday coming from up. From 2019. Of course, COVID causing that. People kicked out. People having to take their food and leave. Or if they wanted to stay, they got to sit outside. I love that. I love that. If I had a dog again, I, I mean, the late great Basil the Boxer and I ate at a lot of outdoor places. And it was always so much fun. And you can people watch and get fresh air. I still prefer to do that We did that last night My lovely lady friend and I On the Maybe that'll be the podcast picture We were there on the Tamales Bay Sitting outside We could have sat inside But Heaters today Outside It doesn't even You get the Unless it's pouring down rain Fabagoo Things to do Things to do Magnification So People Grabbed onto more fast food 30% more Between 2019 and 2022 Now chains are in a to-go space race McDonald's and Taco Bell have opened drive through only stores now They don't want you sticking around Chick-fil-A is building a drive through highway A four-lane location that serves 75 cars at once Woo! That is so fast food And that is so the reason why I hate fast food It's just, here, take your food, go and leave And the now there's a lot of Inside the store, there's a lot of mechanics A lot of automation going on making the food But there's still employees, a lot of young people my, 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 my. That's not really the best uh, Customer relations scenario Where the people are just driving through But Hey, people want their food So, oh, and the Marvels has the worst opening weekend ever For an MCU film at $47 million. Yikes Not good at all uh, let's, Oh, H&M and Zara parent Inditex There's a protest over wages 
people get as low as 75 bucks a month There are 300 factories in Bangladesh that have closed Thousands of workers that make clothes are protesting They're seeking a th- pay increase of three times what they're making now And that's what I have for you today on my podcast Look who's here Anyway No, wait, is it? Yeah, I guess it is <laughs> I'm back, it's Benita the Rodeo Queen How y'all doing? It's a disgruntled fiddle player, tell you what What? Yeah, she brought her horse nearly with her And yeah, we don't go through fast food places anymore Because I got some bad food poisoning once at a fast food place I will not say the name But it kind of rhymes with Murder Gling Okay <laughs> I guess it murdered your Gling It certainly did Look who else is here Hello Mike, I make delicious root beer house to my now Excellent, I'm gonna try this root beer right now And, ah uh. Oh, what's in there? Dandy tea What? Dandy tea Drink it right now, I'll cut you Dandy tea What Oh is that the dandelion stuff That sort of tastes like coffee It's got that chicory kind of coffee taste Ah That's not so That's really not supposed to be in root beer When I was in Bodega Bay over the weekend I actually bought a root beer My first time In quite a while And when we were in Just outside of Guerneville Yesterday morning We ate at a bakery I for, I think it's called Bia B-I-A when you are a man Sometimes you wear stretchy pants And there was a lady running the place Her name not Bia But She was interesting Very interesting Apparently she had Fought and beat cancer twice She was in her late 60s Almost 70 Very outspoken There was a friend of hers who died And nobody would take the friend's dog Now that the dog's owner is gone So she adopted the dog And the dog was really cute Kind of looked like Toto Big underbite Very interesting lady oh, I <laughs> Apparently she spent a lot of time She grew up in um, Brooklyn and Queens And moved out to San Francisco As a young lady But she was saying You know she's got, She stays around young people a lot And she hates when old people complain about young people When old people complain about Gen Z Or the Gen Alpha And what they do on TikTok and stuff She goes, we did stupid stuff when we were young Why do do we get a pass and they don't? Which is true Hopefully we can help the young people along though That are making really dumb mistakes Hopefully they listen to us Because we don't want them to make the dumb mistakes we did Or at least learn from the dumb mistakes we did Look, if you'd like to call me and tell me what you think about any of this Here's the phone number. Call Mike at the Cafe Anyway hotline. Area code 510-228-4640. Thank you, thank you, thank you for calling that number. Looking forward to hearing from you. And with more ways to reach me, here's A-Frame. Mike's TV podcast is written and produced and performed by Mike Matthews. His podcast is super easy to find. Download or listen to his show and read his blog at mikesdailypodcast.com. Email Mike now at mikesdailypodcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye.